Hi there, welcome to Managing Meetings with MindMeister. I'm Tom Mavison, and I'm going to show you how to conduct effective meetings with MindMeister. So let us first have a look at some reasons why we should use electronic mind mapping in meetings at all. Well, the first reason is that everyone is involved because we use a beamer and a screen and not someone who's taking notes. There's also overview because you can see all the agenda points, you can see the documents, you can see the action points. And it's very easy to capture and distribute all the action points. So after the meeting, all the minutes and action points are immediately available. So it really saves time. So why should we use MindMeister then? Well, MindMeister is a web-based mind mapping tool. And it means that you can collaborate with others through the web. It's also very easy to use, yet it's very powerful. And it has some special features, like you can be reminded by email, uh, you can synchronize your tasks with Outlook or iCal, and there's Geistesblitz, I'm going to show you that later on. So after this brief introduction, let us now start to begin to build our meeting mind map from scratch. And I'm going to show you how the features of MindMeister really fit in. Let's start. We can enter the name of the meeting in the central topic. The first main topic can be used for, let's say, the objective of the meeting. The second main topic we're going to use for the general details. General details are things like the date, time and the place of the meeting, but also a list of attendees or special remarks. Actually, it's all up to you what you put in this section. In MindMeister, we can also use icons to add meaning to our mind maps that we are creating. So let us see how we can use this uh, in our own example map. So first of all, we have to choose the topic, then we have to click on the icons button, and then we can choose the appropriate icon. So select the topic, click on the button, and select your icon. That's all there is to it. And you can see it immediately adds meaning to your mind map. In the next main topic, we're going to enter the agenda points of our meeting. Let's start with the approval of the minutes of our last meeting. And of course we can enter as many agenda points if we like. Also with the agenda points we can make use of icons. We can use icons to show the status of the agenda points. And that way we can easily see whether an agenda point is covered or not. Another interesting feature in MindMeister is the ability to add attachments, like documents, to your mind map. To do that, first select your topic, then click on the Attachments button and then on the Upload link. The File Explorer window will open and you can choose your appropriate document which will be uploaded. Once uploaded, this will be signified by an icon and you can click on the link to open the document. To capture all the action points of the meeting, you can add task information to your mind map. MindMeister can remind you by sending emails. You can also subscribe by Outlook or iCal to a web calendar. Let's see how to use it. First we have to uh, insert a new main topic, a main topic about lists, and we have an action list here with action number one. And now we're going to add an action by clicking on the task button, and then you can add information like priority of the task, level of completion, the due date, and the assigned to the resources. Normally you can see a list of all the people you share this map with. By clicking on the advanced tab, you see some extra items that you can fill in, like the start date. And there's also a special tab, email reminders, and here you can set the email reminder. You see there are several options, and the default option is that on due date, the system will send you an email. Let's put the list in another place now. There's also a quick way to uh, add an action. 
and that is by the Wunder task, action number two. And we have to click then on this start, this button. It's the Wunder task, and it will assign immediately priority one completion. It will assign the task to yourself, and the due date will be in a week. This can be very handy to enter tasks for yourself. All my tasks are also visible on the home page of MindMeister, as you can see here. MindMeister also creates automatically a web calendar, an eye calendar. You can subscribe from Outlook or Apple iCal, as you can see here. You can see my tasks in Apple iCal or in Microsoft Outlook. Now let us do a quick wrap up of the things I've shown you in this little screencast. So let's review some of the features we've discussed. First there were the icons that could really add meaning to the map. We've also seen attachments that allow you to add documents to share them with your team members. We've seen task information to easily capture action points and task reminders by email or by synchronizing the web calendar by Outlook or iCal. And also other features like Geister Splits. What is Geister Splits? Well, let's have a look at it. So let us see what this uh, Geister Splits is all about. I'm now in the uh, My Account section of MindMeister, my MindMeister account. And as you can see here, you see the Geister Splits email. I've turned it on. Like you can see here, you can also turn it off. And here is the iCalendar task feed that I was talking about. Here is where you can switch it on or off. And here are the URLs, the URL for Outlook and the URL for iCal. Let's turn back to uh, Geister Splits. This is Geister Splits email. It's one of the possibilities of Geister Splits. You can send an email to send uh, ideas to a mind map, or you can even send an email with a complete mind map. Let's see, there is an example. If I click on this link, you see an example of a email, how it would look like. You see here, this is my address. You can see the address on my account page. This is the name of the mind map, best movies ever. And here you see the items of the mind map. And you see it's indented. You can indent it by using spaces or by tabs. So let's turn back to my accounts page. So that's how it works. You can send an email, but there's more to uh, Geister Splits. And I can show you if I go to Tools. And here is the Geister Splits tools. There are three ways to use Geister Splits. You have widgets. You can have widgets for uh, Windows and for Mac. Here you have browser extensions for Geister Splits. And here's the email and also SMS. When you want to use SMS, you will have to use a Twitter account. So please have a look at uh, the MindMeister website, how it really works. The way it works is that it uses the default mind map. If you use a, a widget, it uses the default mind map. I'm going to show you how that works. Um, let me first enter or open a new tab. Google. And here you see my MindMeister Geister Splits widget. So if I enter an idea here, so let's go to London and I enter it. You saw this little flash of lightning. That's the Geister Blitz, and that means that it's now added to my mind map. Now let's see if that's really true. I have to go to um, the MindMeister, to my maps, and then I, this is my default map, it works with the default map, so let's go to the default map, let's open it, and you see let's go to London in my Geister's Blitzes, so it really works very nice. And you can also do that with uh, email or even as a message on Twitter account, so please have a look at it and see how it works for you. 
So, that's all for now. I really hope that you've enjoyed this little screencast about MindMeister. How MindMeister can really be an efficient tool in helping you to conduct more effective meetings. and easily enables you to share all your documents and tasks with all your colleagues. <laughs>